Welcome back everybody! Today's video is just going to be a quick little one explaining challenge campaigns, what they're for, what rewards you can get from it, and so on, yada yada. Um, I just realized you can't even see me because my mount's in the way. Also, fun little easter egg, if you're riding a mount like this, your eyeballs change colors the same way that your mount does. I noticed that the other day, and it's pretty cool. I mean, I wish I could do that in real life with my eyeballs, but I'm not that kind of wizard. Anyway. So challenge campaigns. Once you reach level 80, you will have the option to talk to Sibella. She came out of her Kingdom of Isolation in Never Ember's basement, and she's now actually outside getting some much needed vitamin D in this ray of sunlight. So um, she's out here and you can talk to her and she'll tell you about challenge campaigns, blah 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 blah. So what challenge campaigns are is you get three tasks each week that you uh, complete in the other zones. The, uh, the older campaign zones, basically anything in this challenge campaign section, and these are all the older campaigns. So, you'll get three quests to complete in any of those zones. I believe all three of them are going to be different zones each week. Could be wrong about that, I haven't really played around too much with them. And as a reward, you can choose a bonus campaign currency to get. So if you're working on completing a campaign post level 80, that you haven't completed yet for whatever reason, you can choose a bonus currency to get for any of the older campaigns up to Ravenloft. So what I think it's going to do is it's going to go the past two mods, same way how campaign completion tokens show up in the Zen market only once they're two modules old, so Ravenloft is the most recent one here. So if you're working on Ravenloft, you can choose to get bonus Ravenloft currency, or Jungle of Shoulder, you know, any of those. And once you complete the quests, you'll get rewards for the campaign currency for the campaign that the quest is for. Like, for example, if you took a Tyranny of Dragons quest, you'll get the campaign currency for Tyranny of Dragons, but you'll also get bonus currency for whichever one you choose, even though it has nothing to do with, you know, Tyranny of Dragons. That was a really long drawn out explanation. I hope it made sense. But basically, you pick a quest in one area, you get that area's currency, and then also a bonus currency for whichever one you pick. That was much shorter. I should have just said that to begin with. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the Ravenloft just because that's what I need. So here's my three quests for this week. Storm King, Slender, Tyranny of Dragons, and Jungles of Chult. So I have to complete heroics in Chult. I have to complete quests in Tyranny of Dragons, and I have to defeat enemies in Storm King, Slender. And you get a whole bunch of stuff, like I said, campaign currency, and then also heroes medallions and your bonus campaign currency. So what are Heroes Medallions? There's a cap of 1,000 of them, just, just so you know. And you use these in this store that Sabella offers. She took her most prized possessions from Never Umber's basement, collected them all into a giant, like Hermione's bag, that's just endless bag, you know, and brought them outside to get some sunlight with her. And this has the new rank 7 mark of potency, the rank 6 mark of potency, so that would be prior to the ultimate Mark of Potency, and then Ultimate Enchanting Stone, Superior, Superior Mark of Potency, 50,000, 50% bonus Rough Astro Diamonds, and then Companion Upgrade Tokens. And this is all the stuff that's available right now. So each week, I believe each quest gives five Heroes Medallions, if I'm correct. Yeah, each quest gives five, so you can get 15 a week. So that's like a free SMOP every week, or free 50% bonus Astro Diamonds, or free five companion upgrade tokens a week. And it seems like a little bit, but it will add up after a while if you're saving up to upgrade a specific companion or working on enchantments. Having that little boost where you don't have to spend an extra 50k on one of these or something like that could be pretty helpful. Now, I'm not going to make much use of this until they add, until mod 17, whenever Acquisitions Incorporated is added here. And that's how I'm going to complete the campaign because... I just really don't like that campaign and I just refuse to do it, so I'll complete it then whenever it's added to the challenge campaigns. And until then, I, I'll gladly miss out on those few boon points. Anyway, that was just a really quick video. Hope that you guys found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. And I thought, I decided to do this video on my cleric because I figured you guys would be happy to know that my cleric exists again. Same with my live stream yesterday. My cleric is very much alive. I finally leveled it. I just need to finish up the campaign and work on fixing my stats a little bit, and then I can start doing dungeons and stuff and get a feel of what is going to be best for me to use when I'm DPSing or healing, and then I can maybe get a build video out that all you guys have been asking me about. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you later. Bye.